If you spend hours teaching people the same thing over and over, I'm gonna show you how you can gain your time back and streamline that process by creating training videos. Let's be honest, you probably don't have a lot of free time on your hands to figure out how to make videos. So I'm gonna show you the quickest and easiest way to do it without the scary learning curve and with a little help from AI. By the end of this video, you will have a budget-friendly way of whipping out training videos for all types of processes in no time. Here's the thing about training videos. They speed up your processes, but they also take away that face-to-face -face interaction that is so important to have. So this video will show you how you can keep that authenticity and that face-to-face -face connection, but also automate part of your workflow so that you can gain your time back. Step one is to create an authentic script. This doesn't have to be anything crazy. Here's a quick formula. Section one is to introduce yourself, tell the viewer who you are, and then let them know what they'll be learning in the video and how it's going to help them. Section two is the fun part. Be authentic and demonstrate what you're saying in the best way possible. You want to explain this like you're explaining it to the most fun person to teach. Answer questions that you regularly hear along the way, tell personal stories, and give examples of how these processes will be used in their day-to-day. -day. Section three is to give a quick recap of what was covered in the video, and then let them know any next steps and if there's another video that they should watch next. And you're done. Now, I think it would be really beneficial here to always still set up a time to meet face-to-face -face with whoever you're training. This way you can answer any questions that they have about the training specifically. By just automating the first part of the training process, this will give them a baseline and then they can ask any questions from there. This can also add to the diversity of questions that you're being asked so it makes things more interesting for you. And if you get asked a specific question a lot, make a video on it. Step two is to gather your equipment. You're going to need a computer with a camera, your phone if the camera is better than your computer camera. You can actually use your phone as an external webcam and I'm going to show you how to set that up shortly. If you're using your phone, you will need a mount to mount it to your computer, similar to this one. I will link it in the description. You're going to need a source of light. So whether that be just facing a window, if the light is too harsh when you do face a window, you can put up a white sheet to diffuse it. You could also purchase something like a ring light from Amazon that will just attach to the top of your computer and light your face. You'll need a microphone. You can use your laptop microphone and enhance your audio in post with AI. I will show you how to do that. But you can also invest in a high quality microphone. A great one on a budget is the ATR 2100X. You'll need a software for recording. A great online software for this is Riverside.fm. You can try it out for free. I will link it in the description. I'm going to be demonstrating this workflow on the pro plan. And lastly, you will need a nice distraction-free background. You can easily set this up in the space that you already have. I will link a video above on how to do that. Step three is to record. Let's walk through how to do it. So this is Riverside. You can either sign up for an account or just log in. Then you're going to create a new studio. So you're going to head up to this drop down at the side and at the bottom, select New Studio. Now, this studio is where you can record and edit all of your content related to training videos. So head to this Record button. On this page, you can select any equipment that you want to use throughout the recording process. So from the drop-down menu, you can connect your mobile camera seamlessly by just scanning this QR code. Then you can also select your microphone from the drop-down menu. Remember, I will show you how to enhance your audio with AI in post if you don't have a high-quality microphone. When all of your equipment is connected, you can select that you are not using headphones and join the studio. This is the Riverside Studio where you can record your video. On the side here, you'll be able to monitor your audio levels. You wanna make sure that that's either in the green or the yellow. Try to avoid red. With this script button at the bottom, you can insert your script that you wanna use during the recording so that you can stay on track. You can also turn this into a teleprompter if you wanted to read from a script. So down at the bottom here, you can also share your screen. This is super beneficial for training videos because it gives the viewer a visual of what you're talking about. On certain plans, you'll also have the ability to upload a presentation. So when you're ready to record your video, you would just press record. The software will count down so you can get ready. And then you would just record section one of your script. So introduce yourself, who you are, what the video is about, and why it will be beneficial to the viewer. If you mess up, don't worry. You can remove that mess up in the editor, which we'll talk about shortly. Don't start at the word that you messed up on. Go back to the beginning of the sentence. This is going to help the video flow nicely when it's edited. When you're done recording section one, press stop. 
you'll see that video will upload to the cloud. Now, when you're feeling ready for the big part, section two, where you're going to actually teach the viewer what the training is about, then you're going to press record again. Now, it's really important to show and not just tell during this section. You can use the screen share button to demonstrate the processes on your computer, but you can also refer to things like charts and graphs, which I will show you how to overlay in the editor later. If you wanted to get really fancy, you can use the media board on the side here. You can upload any media that you'd like. So maybe a past company video that you want to refer to, and then you can insert that into the recording process as well. When you're done recording section two, you can press stop. Again, you'll see it upload to the cloud. Now you can recap everything that you've said in the video and let the viewer know the next steps, whether it be to watch another video or even set up a call with you. And by the way, if you are planning on setting up one-on-ones, you can actually meet over Riverside as well. I will link a video above that will walk you through Riverside for meetings. So when you're done that section, you would select stop. And again, you'll see it upload to the cloud. When you're totally done recording, you can select view recordings. You will be brought into your project folder, which holds all of the recordings related to this specific video. You'll see that you'll have each recording available to download and edit separately, or you can head into the editor by selecting this edit button. This is the Riverside editor, and all of the recordings will be laid out on the timeline in order of recording. Now you'll see the transcription of the recording on the side here. And something to note is that you aren't going to see the full resolution video in the editor. You will get that high quality when you download it. You can edit this video in five simple steps. Step one is to remove any mistakes. As you play the video, you'll be able to follow along with the transcription. If there is a mistake that you want taken out of the video, you would simply highlight over the text, press delete on your keyboard, and that section will be deleted out of the final video. This is called text-based editing and it makes things so much quicker. Step two is to remove any silences and filler words. Maybe there were some times where you paused to think about your next word or how to phrase something. You can take out those pauses and all of the times that you said um or ah or any other filler words. So head up to AI producer, head to this set pace feature, and here you can decide how much or how little silence you want to be removed from the video. To keep the authenticity, I recommend a balanced sound. Now you also wanna select smooth speech, and this is gonna go through your transcription and cut out any filler words so that your video sounds more confident. Step three is to clean up your audio if you used a poor quality mic. So within AI Producer, you would select Magic Audio, and this is going to enhance your audio into studio quality. Now if you head to Brand, you can actually add your company logo to be displayed throughout the whole video, and you can move it around to wherever you'd like on the video. And you can also add a background to this video, so you could change that to your company colors. If you go to the screen share section of your video, you can head up to layout, and you can change the layout of the frame. So maybe you want it to just be the screen share, or maybe you want to have you as a little icon in the corner. You can do that with the layout button. Now, at this point, you could just export this video and use this. It's pretty much ready to go. You would just export it using this export button, but you can also add some other elements to your video. So step four is to add assets. You can add text overlays by selecting text, choosing a style that you'd like, and typing whatever you'd like to say. Then you can adjust things like the sizing, the font, and even the color. You can move that text around the screen however you'd like, and then you can select the duration of how long that text stays on the screen. Along the timeline here, you would just select this text button and you can drag it to take up as much or as little time as you'd like. So this is really good for reinforcing points throughout training. Now you can also overlay images over your video. You would head to images and you can select any images from the stock image library or you can upload your own. You can select it and it will be inserted into the video in the original dimensions of the photo, which you can resize on the screen, you can move it around the screen, and you can also make sure that it fits the frame. So this could be handy if you wanted to refer to like a chart or a graph throughout your video. Now step five is to add captions. You don't have to do this, but I highly recommend it because it makes videos more accessible for everyone. Dynamic captions will be created from the transcription automatically. So when you're done, you would just head up to this export button, if you filmed on a device that can capture 4K, then you can export in up to 4K, otherwise export in 1080. Select go to exports, 
and you'll see your full video exporting right here. When it's ready, you can preview it and you can download it to your computer. When it comes to hosting these videos, here are a few ways that you can do it. You can look into private video hosting sites. You can use your company's intranet to host videos. You could use your chosen cloud service like Google Drive or OneDrive or Dropbox. And don't forget that you can set up password protection for shared folders that are hosting the videos. Now, if the videos don't have confidential information, then you can upload them as an unlisted video to your company's YouTube page and just give people the link and they can watch it that way. There you go. That is how to make a training video. It's not so bad when we break it down like that, is it? Hopefully this has helped inspire you to automate your workflow so you can focus on the other things that you love to do. If you want to try Riverside, I will leave a link in the description for you to try it out and a playlist of videos to help you get started. If you're also looking to make onboarding videos for your company, I will leave a video here walking you through how you can do that with Riverside as well. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to stick around. My name is Bridget O'Rourke, and I'll see you in the next video.